Hi, I'm Dr. Gregory Pace, and I want to share with you a case I worked on a couple weeks ago. I got a call from a young woman who was experiencing a lot of pain, discomfort. She had a fever. She actually thought she had an infected breast cyst. The situation was so acute that everyone was telling her she should go to the emergency room. But she decided to call me to see what we could do with homeopathy. I did a home visit and took her case. What came up that was striking were some of the symptoms that she relayed. She actually had a headache uh, during this fever uh, that, that was worse with the fever. She was experiencing some uh, restlessness, uh, felt feverish. Uh, she didn't really put words to it, but she was anxious uh, during her state. And what I observed while she was telling me her uh, her, her story there, and uh, I was uh, taking notes and looking up rubrics in the repertory, is that she was actually moaning periodically while I would be writing something down and she wasn't saying something. She'd be, uh, uh, not as monotone as that, but, uh, you know, very much a distinct moan uh, that just was, it wasn't forced, it wasn't fake. It was just what she was doing. And so that became a significant part of my observation. Now, uh, I felt her hands and her feet, uh, and they were cool to the touch, given how strong uh, uh, heat that she was experiencing. I thought that was an unusual. I asked her about thirst, and she was actually thirsty uh, during this time. And uh, she also told me that she felt that some of her glands were... Um, not necessarily swollen, but more inflamed. Taking all this information and putting together several rubrics, I chose the remedy Arsenicum album. Now, why Arsenicum? Uh, you know, some of the keynotes were not present. Uh, she was thirsty, but it wasn't thirsty for little sips. She was actually thirsty and drinking a lot uh, at a time. Uh, she did have a headache. Uh, during her fever, uh, but the head pain was not better by cold. Another symptom that was really interesting was that she would go take a bath and she would feel better. And it wasn't a cold bath, it was actually a warm to almost hot bath. So not only was she better by taking a bath, but actually she, um, like the, the muscles that were sore, those were also better by taking a bath. So I put together several of these rubrics, the head pain accompanied by fever, the mind moaning during heat, uh, thirsty with uh, the heat, uh, restlessness, anxiety, uh, the fact that bathing not only made her feel better overall, but actually the pain, the muscle pain also felt better with bathing. So I, putting all those symptoms together, that's how I came up with our Seneca album. She actually had a 30C on hand, we've worked together before, and uh, had her mix up a 30, one pellet of 30C in a four ounce amber glass bottle, four ounces of water, dissolved the pellet, and then I had her take one teaspoon with 15 succussions before uh, a dose, and she could dose up to four times in an hour, so basically every 15 minutes or so. I told her that if she felt better after any one of these doses, even after the first dose, she was supposed to stop and wait. But that if there wasn't any significant improvement after any of these doses, she could do all four. And then after that hour, those four doses, 15 minutes apart, she could, you know, check back with me. Because at this point, I was um, uh, not, uh, not staying there for the evening. So she did so. And basically came up with, uh, you know, she didn't really feel, or at least she said she didn't feel that much better after those four doses. I had her take two more doses of the Arsenicum 30C in this four ounce solution, same amount, one teaspoon, same number of succussions. And she took those about, oh, half hour apart or so. After that sixth dose, she went to bed and actually slept through the night, which was the first time in two nights that she slept all the way through the night. When she woke up the next morning, her fever was 
pretty much gone. She was down to about 99, whereas she'd been over 102 the night before. The muscle pain was less. She didn't feel as anxious. She hadn't had a restless night. That's how she'd been able to sleep through the night in bed. And overall, she just felt better. So my instructions were that that was her baseline point. If her uh, any part felt worse, say the head pain got worse again, or the muscle pain, or she just felt overall worse from that state, then she should dose again. But if she felt at least that good overall, as well as all these different areas, then she would wait and not dose. And what happened was over the course of that day, she took another couple of doses by the time she went to bed that night. And then by the next day, she was 90% improved. So with seven, eight doses of Arsenicum 30C, very simple uh, uh, treatment, uh, the case itself was not that difficult as long as you paid attention to both what the patient told you, which I did, as well as the observation because the moaning I felt was a significant piece. She didn't have to go to the emergency room. She didn't have to spend all that money. And she was able to stay at home and recover um, by uh, the, you know, the following day, the following full day. So uh, another acute case solved with homeopathic medicine, prevention of uh, a trip to the emergency room, prevention of a lot of money spent, probably hundreds of dollars if they decide to do tests, etc. So I want you to think of homeopathy uh, for your next acute and use your books, use your repertory, use your knowledge of homeopathic medicines, prescribe and see the good results that you get. Thanks for watching and I hope you come back for another tip soon.